as governor. Each week, Eyewitness News investigates ways to help the environment and make it easier for Rhode Islanders to go green. This week, we went digging for answers when we found out that one of the plastics that goes in your blue bin shares the same name with our green team reporter, Pete Mangione. On the bottom of many plastic bottles, I noticed the name Pete. So I took to the streets of Providence to see if it was referring to me or something else altogether. Here is where the puzzle all started on the bottom of this plastic bottle with what looked like my name. I turned to the good people of Thayer Street for some confirmation. It says Pete. Pete. P-E-T-E. -E. I then gave them the shocking information that I was, in fact, Pete. Uh, my name is Pete. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Fantastic. Is that how you introduce yourself to everyone? But despite the many recycling stories I do for the Eyewitness News Green Team, everyone quickly realized the label wasn't about me. I, I doubt it. Is it? I don't think so. It was biochemist Raphael Rosby who came the closest to the actual answer. That's some chemical name, I'm sure. Polyethylene something. He got the first part of it right. Our friend Sarah Kite from the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation was finally able to shed some light on what the name really stood for. I think it has more to do with the fact that PETE is short for polyethylene terephthalate, which is the chemical composition of the bottle. Was the answer disappointing? Yes, a little bit. But that won't stop me from recycling my good name one bottle at a time. For the Green Team, I'm Pete Mangione. There 